Assalamualaikum, I'm Nurul Farhi binti Muhammad and let's begin this presentation with background profile of the leader. Tan Sri Sheikh Mozan al Bukhari was born on 12 December 1951 in Kampung Hutan Kerian Alusta, Kedah. He is the third child of Jan Sheikh Nur al Bukhari and his mother Sharifah Rukia who is from Hyderabad, Yemen. Before deciding to settle in Kedah, his father went to Central Asia to do the business and then his father went to Thailand. When he was 9 years old, he was sent to live with his uncle Shah Omar in Johor Bahru until home too. Then he returned to Kedah and attended St. Michael's school. Because of his poor family situation, Tan Sri Sheikh Mosa helped his mother grow vegetable to support the family income. Then, they sell his all the vegetable at the market in Jalan Teluk Wanja. He also sell roti shana in the same market. Tan Sri Sheikh Mosa married with Sharifah Sarah bin Tan Sri Sheikh Mokaji Sheikh Muhammad Al Bukhari and he has uh, seven children. In 1974, Tan Sri Sheikh Mosa bought his first shop house in Jalan Teluk Wanja under his high purchase agreement with Uda or Urban Development Corporation. Then, in 1975, he set up Sharikat Shah and applied for a rice trading license from the National Party Board known as Bernas. In addition, on 15 July 1976, he set up an operation called Bukhari Senior Bahai at his office in Jalan Teluk Panjang. He also established uh, the Al Bukhari Foundation in March uh, 1996 as a charitable body whose role was the, to help the poor support the development of Islamic art and culture, also promote the understanding between civilizations. Finally, the best is that Tan Sri Sheikh uh, Mosa is the richest Bumiputra entrepreneur in Malaysia with a fortune worth RM5 billion. Thank you. Tan Sri Syed Muhtar Al-Bukhari has awarded the rice trading license from Lembaga Padi Negara. He started his rice business at Kedah in 1990s. It was the first successful for him. Then he moved to the rice trading business. During the rice trading business, Tansri Syed Mukhtar Al Bukhari need to struggle and strive more at his face. He worked even harder after he was awarded the rice trading license from Lembaga Padi Negara. Tansri Syed Mukhtar Al Bukhari has awarded for Mega Project. At the beginning of year 90s, he continued to focus in development and management of the port and he is responsible for making the port of Tanjung Pelepas Jehu become famous in the eyes of the world. Tansri Syed Mukhtar Al Bukhari also the owner of Gulf State Capital International Investment Group GIIG who has an interest in the Bakun Hydroelectric Project. He also has interest in several well-known firms such as Malaysia Mining Corporation Berhad, Perna Cement Holding Berhad, Malakoff Berhad, Joho Port Berhad, Dream Model Sendirian Berhad and Indra Citra Sendirian Berhad. Syed Mokhtar had been awarded for Mega Project as he was received a 30-year handover to build Tanjung Pelepas Port. Tansri Syed Mokhtar Al Bukhari also has awarded as Toko Ma'al Hijrah by the Yang Di Pertuan Agung of Malaysia. In 1996, Syed Mokhtar has set up Al Bukhari Foundation to assist with him as the sole donator. The foundation financed English, Science and Mathematics class for more than 20,000 students every year, as well as running a college scholarship program for 300 students in more than 40 countries. Between 1996 and 2006, the Al Bukhari Foundation has contributed about 1 billion for various charity causes. The foundation also built the famous Al Bukhari Mosque in Alustah Kedah, adjacent to a business complex which today become a prominent landmark in Kedah with its remarkable architecture. In January 2008, Syed Mokhtar has honoured as the recipient of the Tokoh Ma'al Hijrah 1429. Tansri Syed Mokhtar Al Bukhari described his achievement in business as the outcome of the government initiative in implementing the new economy policy. Since then, Tansri Syed Mokhtar Al Bukhari's business continued to expand rapidly until he was awarded as one of the richest Bumiputra corporate figures in Malaysia. Received recognition from Malaysia Business as the 7th richest man in Malaysia in 2005 and named as the 50th richest man by Forbes in 2013.
term that I can identify is transition Mokhtar al-Bukhari can be known as a transformational leader. He always put his dream as something needed to be achieved. Most important things, he is he always see if there is a, there is a opportunities for him to grab. When he started his business, he don't see the Chinese that monopoly of the business at that time as a rival, but he clearly managed to start the business and continue to succeed his dream. He made a partnership with the Chinese to start Shah Enterprise in Denver High because he needed Chinese influence. And at the same time, the Chinese can get advantage from him as a bumi putra. Next, he showed his versatile leadership with his own vision on what he want to be in the future. He bravely took the risk when he was trying to compete with the Chinese businessman. He is very ambitious, leader and have a very clear vision toward his plan. He also known as an integrated businessman when some of Bumi Putras sell their permit to the Chinese but not for him. He also kept the market share that he bought using Bumi Putra quota. He managed to keep his staff when the economic downturn as he do not want their staff become suffer. Last but not least, he is an effective leader because he has turned a problem company to become a profitable company such as MMC, Ernas, the RB Highcom. He always show a good example to his staff and a good manner. He also has a close relationship to his staff. He always practice adaptability to be able to adapt with the changes. When Tun Abdullah Ahmad Badawi took uh, Tun Dr. Mahadi Muhammad's position as a Prime Minister, Tan Sri Shemota also had to make a change to maintain his business role. Uh, he will try to seek uh, opportunity to maintain uh, his uh, business and expand his business. Hi, I'm Nur Karanisa Binti Muhammad Zaidi. I will provide my own opinion whether the leader leadership style is relevant in respective industries. So as we know, Tan Sri Sheikh Mokhtar Al-Bukhari is someone that is well known in Malaysia. Tan Sri Sheikh Mokhtar Al-Bukhari always creates a positive environment and makes people around him feel comfortable with his kindness and humbleness. So as we know, he is actually a very kind and very humble person. Sheikh Mokhtar was an excellent example of how a businessman leader should be. Tan Sri Sheikh Mokhtar Al-Bukhari always gives motivation and wisdom words to people, especially related to orang Melayu. This is the example of words that have been given by Tan Sri Sheikh Mokhtar Al-Bukhari. Ubah cara berfikir, tujuh pesanan kepada usahawan muslim. So my personal opinion with his leadership style is that he is a very motivated, confident and courageous leader. Tan Sri Sheikh Mota is an example of a confident and strong Bumi Putra that works hard to achieve what he wants. He is an effective leader and show positive vibe by showing a very good attitude and example to his employees. Most of his staff and employees very satisfied with his leadership team. A good leader needs to be more than just a task-oriented person. He also must be a relationship-oriented person as long as he commit to the work also. Sheikh Mota always has a close relationship with his employee. I believe with his ability that always practice good traits and behavior. This leadership skill is of course relevant in respective industries as it provides many good tips to people nearby and employee. Furthermore, Tan Sri Sheikh Mota Al-Buhari is a very visionary person who will grab opportunities and take risks that he sees can grow. He takes the risk as a guidance for him to work hard and achieve more. He also keeps learning from mistakes and he never knew about failure because he always learned from it and never give up. It shows how passionate he is and this is a good leadership skill as it will inspire all the people around him. So my conclusion is Tan Chi Sheikh Mota Al-Buhari is a very good and successful leader. He's a very humble, kindness, courageous, motivated, and a very good person as a boss, as employees, and as a Muslim. 
Imagine how a poor village boy can become a business tycoon and be considered a Malaysia's richest person. He built his empire from the very bottom and throughout his hard effort, if Tan Sri Sheikh Mota doesn't have world-class leadership in him, it is difficult for him to become as at now. He may not got perfect formal education, but he learns through experience. Sheikh Mota is always willing to learn a new thing and he evolved accordingly. He built his own success and at the same time not forget where he comes from. He holds a positive value in himself and that's made him a respected leader. Sheikh Mota has a strong heart and determination. He proved that he also can compete with superior competitors. The most important thing he did not forget was where he began his empire. He always hold in Islamic values in doing his business. Sheikh Mota always believed that everyone can achieve something if given fair chance. We go to the last topic of discussion. Based on the topic discussed before, yes, absolutely it is relevant for other leaders to follow and imitate his leadership style and personal traits too. First and foremost, he knows what he wants in the world and hereafter. He wants to be rich. Rich here by making money and rich in hereafter in making charity. He is one of the top zakat payer in Malaysia. He also has a foundation known as Al Bukhari Foundation to help the needy and students all over the country. The Al Bukhari Foundation is an international non profit charitable organization headquartered in Malaysia, which was founded on the Islamic values of faith and compassion. Although founded on Islamic values, the foundation does not discriminate on the grounds of race, nationality, ethnic origin, and religion. It never exposed or show off its assets in social media. As we know, today, a lot of businessmen in Malaysia love to share, post, and show off what they have in many social media platforms. But, as for Said Mostar, not even one person knows where he lives. What type of house? How many cars does he has? How many broken handbags that belongs to his wife? Not only that, not many of us knows who are his sons and daughters, although Group Puhori is one of the largest conglomerate in Malaysia, present in real estate, hospitality, energy, construction, retail, banking and rubber plantations. If only we search for it in the internet, nothing much we can find. In an interview, according to his wife, Wan Sri Sharifah Zara al Bukhari, he never saw himself a rich man because he is the principal human servant of Allah and Allah is self-sufficient. All efforts, trials, challenges since more than 40 years ago for him, is God's providence and providence is shared with more than 67,000 workforce. In short, Tansi Sred Mukhtar is a truly humble leader. He attributes his success to God that there are no secrets in his success. As for him, there is no shortcut to success and he is not afraid to ask for help if required. Patience and hard work are the essential receipt to success. He believes that there is no status in life. One spends equal time on top and below that where it is constant and needed. One must be able to acknowledge that someone else is better and we should learn from them. <laughs>